Thank you, Stacy. New tonight from the State House, Vermont students had the attention of Governor Phil Scott earlier this afternoon as part of the See Something, Say Something campaign. Yeah, the students were challenged to kind of produce a short video promoting school safety, which could become a public service announcement. This afternoon, the top three PSAs were awarded. For more on that, let's get right over to Local 22's Torrance Gosher. Hi, Torrance. Good evening, Lauren. Students I spoke with today say they hope more students speak up to an adult when they suspect something really isn't right. So if you see something, say something. It's a national campaign through the Department of Homeland Security, encouraging students to speak with an adult if they are aware of another classmate who might be seeking to harm themselves or others. Like in the case of Fairhaven High School, that if we have people who are willing to step up and share their concerns for what they have seen or what they may have heard, we have a real chance of stopping acts of violence. Stopping acts of violence, speaking out against bullying, or preventing self-harm. I found a note on the ground that had some hints of like explicit uh, self-harm issues, and I took that to a teacher. Tivy Parchment from Hazel Union High School shared with reporters finding that note inspired her school's PSA, which was awarded first place. She explains why speaking out can sometimes be difficult. You don't want to accuse someone of something if you don't know, or that feeling of like, uh, what if I say something and it's wrong? Almost like when you raise your hand in class. But she hopes more students will speak up. For Logan Kenyon, his motivation came from the foiled plot of a school shooting at Fairhaven High School. Right in your backyard, literally, and it kind of makes you think about it, like what if a bunch of people I know are just not there tomorrow at school. Stafford Technical Center PSA video showed a student speaking out after finding a disturbing image on a fellow classmate's phone. Their video was the first runner-up. The second runner-up were students from Northwest Technical Center. Team leader Kaylee Green explains in their video, they wanted to focus on keeping the entire community safe, not just the school. And it's great to have all these students step up to take action and take this into their own hands as well because it's a group effort. Because someone said something, my school avoided a school shooting. If you see something, you must say something. Don't wait until it's too late. Now those awards were presented by the governor and Vermont NEA President Don Tinney. After some final editing, you will likely see those PSA soon on your local programming. We'll also have a link on our website, mychamplainvalley.com, if you'd like to view those. Live in the studio, Torrance Gosher, Local 22 News. Lauren.